So today we're going to be continuing to look at complex differentiation and the Cauchy-Riemann equations. Just as a uh, very quick recap for f of z equals u of xy and i v of xy, where z is a complex and x and y are real. If du dx equals dv dy partial differential and uh, partial differential du dy equals minus dv dx, they are the Cauchy-Riemann uh, equations, then the derivative of the complex z is equal to the partial du dx add i dv dx. And what we're going to do is we're going to do three questions on this to uh, reinforce all of this. Now the first one here, question number one, uh, we did a similar one to this uh, in the previous video uh, where we proved that d dz of cos z was minus sine z, z and we also proved that d dz of sine z equals cos z. So have a look at, the, at that video if you want to do this. This one's very similar to that and it's saying show that the derivative of e to the z dz equals e to the z. Now we know that's true for reals and what we're going to do is we're going to show that it's true for complex numbers. So e to the z equals, well that's uh, z is e to the x plus i y and that equals e to the x times by e to the i y and e to the i y we know is the polar form of uh, the complex number cos of y add i sine of y. And so we can rewrite this as e to the x cos y add i e to the x sine y. And we can make that there be u of xy. And we can make this here be v of xy. So first of all, what we've got to do is we've got to check the Cauchy-Riemann. Uh, so let's have a look. We've got the partial derivative of u with respect to x, which is this one, equals e to the x cos y, and the partial derivative of v with respect to y, which is this one, is basically equal to e to the x cos y. So they are the same, so that's fine. And then the partial derivative of u with respect to y uh, is equal to uh, minus e to the x sine y. And the partial derivative of v with, with respect to x, sorry, minus that is equal to minus e to the x sine y. So they agree as well. And so therefore, we've just um, confirmed that the Cauchy-Riemann equations uh, are satisfied and therefore it is differentiable complex-wise, so we can differentiate it. Okay, so let's um, differentiate uh, with respect to z, my apologies, with respect to z, e to the z. Uh, well, that equals, uh, we've just said in the beginning of this video here, that therefore it is the partial derivative of u dx add i times the partial derivative of v dx. Well, we just worked out the partial derivative of u dx is e to the x cos y, and the partial derivative of v with respect to x is e to the x sine y times by i. Uh, and therefore, let's take the e to the x out. We've got e to the x cos y add i sine y. Well, cos y add i sine y we know is e to the i y and then e to the x times e to the i y is e to the x plus i y which is e to z so therefore we have shown that the derivative with respect to z of the complex e to the z is indeed e to the z which is what it is also in the reals okay good so that's number one let's have a look at question two okay question two f of z is uh, 2xy add i x squared add y squared for which set of points on the complex plane is f of z differentiable and for those points what is the differential f dash of z okay uh, just pause the video if you want to do that Okay, good. Well, let's call that there u of xy, and let's call this here v of xy. And again, let's use the Cauchy-Riemann uh, and have a look at them. So du dx here is equal to 2y, and dv dy is equal to 2y. So that one is always true, so no problem there. Let's have a look at du dy. Well, du dy is equal to 2x, and minus dv dx is equal to minus 2x. So here we have a problem because in order for it to be complex differentiable, this has to equal this. Well, the only time that 2x equals minus 2x is if 
x equals 0. Well, x equals 0, if we're looking on the complex plane here, where this is the imaginary and this is the real, x equals 0 is the imaginary axis. So basically, for which set of points is it differentiable? Well, it's only differentiable on the imaginary axis only. And for those points, what is the differential? Okay, well, assuming that we are on the imaginary axis, then we know that f dashed of z is du dx add i dv dx, and we just work those two out. So that equals 2y add i times 2x. But we know that it's only differentiable when x is 0, so we can put x equals 0 in there, which just gives us 2y. So the differential is 2y. That's the answer to question 2. All right, let's have a look at the final one. Question 3. So f of z is a complex analytic, aka a differentiable, uh, it's just another word for differentiable, function, such that f of z is 5x minus 3y add i v of x, where v of x is a real valued function in x and y containing r. If v41 is 7, what is v32? This is a, a question that I found in a GRE subject maths test exam. Okay, so we're told that it's analytic, uh, i.e. differentiable, which means we know that the Cauchy-Riemann uh, equations hold. So therefore we know, because it tells us that du dx equals dv dy, oh, sorry, this obviously is u of xy, and well, this is v of xy. Okay, now du dx equals du dx equals 5, so therefore we know that must equal dv dy, so therefore integrating this with respect to y, we get that v is equal to 5y add, because we're integrating with respect to y, some function h of x. Now the second Cauchy-Riemann equation, du dy equals minus dv dx, well we know du dy is equal to minus 3, so therefore we know that the partial derivative of v with respect to x is equal to 3, and we know that v is equal to that, so therefore integrating this gives us, uh, sorry, differentiating this gives us, with, with respect to x, the partial derivative of v with respect to x, this one here, is equal to h dashed of x, which equals 3, so then integrating so we've got h dashed of x equals 3. So integrating that with respect to x, we get h of x equals 3x add c. Therefore, we know that v of xy equals, from here, 5y add 3x add c. And we know from the question that v41 equals 7. So all we've got to do is plug in equals 7, which equals... 5 times 1 add 3 times 4 add c, and from that, therefore, c is equal to minus 10. So, therefore, we know that vxy is equal to 5y add 3x minus 10, and therefore, it's a simple matter to find out what v32 is. All we've got to do is stick in 32, 5, 2, add 3, 3, minus 10, which equals 9. And that's the answer to number three. So these are three fairly standard sort of questions that you might get asked uh, on um, Cauchy-Riemann and complex differentiability. Um, I hope you found this useful. If you have, um, please um, like this video by pressing the little thumbs up button and subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.